Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite and does this matter? No, our parents aren't doing that. We have a broad range of girls from all over the world, from various different cultures. Um, and what they join is a school that encourages passion in what we do and a really positive network of friends and contacts for them to leave the school with. So we're not a social elite group. We are an inclusive group. What single thing defines the su success of your school? I think the sense of well-being that the students have from the impact of their lessons and the extracurricular activities that they do around the school. How do you guarantee your pupils' well-being? With strong relationships between our staff and our students. It is absolutely vital in a boarding school uh, that all of those relationships are fostered and are nurtured throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the weekends. And I guarantee the students' well-being because those relationships are vital in all we do. What do your pupils say about you and do you care? I, I'm sure the pupils and the staff say a great deal about me. Um, I know that uh, there's a favoured uh, nickname in Danger Mouse, but do I care? Of course I care because I'm a human being and we all have emotions and we all have feelings, but no, it doesn't bother me. Uh, everybody has a right to express their feelings and everybody has a right to be frustrated with the lead in their school, but I would always hope that if there is a real frustration or a general dissatisfaction that they, the open door policy I operate means they can come and ask me about it or discuss it. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Bullying is an instance where socially, verbally, emotionally or physically any child can feel demeaned or devalued. Uh, we have a zero tolerance here at school, which is fantastic, um, largely because the girls and the staff talk often enough about the relationships that they have with one another. So zero tolerance, we wouldn't accept it. How do re you react to wealthy parents offering donations to the development fund before their children have enrolled in the school? I've yet to experience that one. Uh, if they offered me money for my development fund, the Performing Arts Centre is something that's quite key at the moment. They'd be welcome to offer that as a donation, but I hold no value in parents trading their children for their education, so we wouldn't accept it.